Welcome back everyone to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about high availability design by using FortiGate Firewall. And also we are going to come up with the configuration in my next video of high availability by using FortiGate Firewall. So in this video, I'm giving you overview of high availability design by using FortiGate Firewall to make you understand that what is going to be our design and how we will place the second firewall in this topology with this current topology and what will be the connection between this topology and LAN and DMZ zones because we are going to have the redundancy for this DMZ and LAN so we are going to have the redundancy for internet connectivity for DMZ and LAN and I hope you will like this video if you do do not forget to like comment and share also subscribe and click on the bell icon for my new update because if you subscribe, this gives me more energy to make new videos for you. So let's get started discussing about high availability design by using FortiGate firewall. As you can see in this topology, we have only standalone firewall with three zones, WAN, DMZ and LAN without having redundancy or high availability configuration. So what we are going to do, we are going to add one more firewall for high availability or redundancy so this is going to be our high high availability design with FortiGate firewall FortiGate firewall so I'm going to show you that this is going to be our ISP and ISP is connected to FortiGate firewall 1 FortiGate 1 this is going to be 1 FortiGate firewall 1 with port 1 Port 1 having IP address of 11 dot 2 slash 28 and also we have two zones as you can see one is connected to LAN zone network this is going to be our LAN switch LAN zone we have some pieces over here behind the LAN we have some pieces and our LAN zone we are going to use port port 2 so we have one more zone which is DMZ this is going to be DMZ this is going to be DMZ switch with and DMZ switch is connected to port 3 and IP address we are going to use 11.1 .1 24 and for port 2 we are going to use 10.1 24 this is our current topology that we, which we don't have the redundancy or high availability we have only standalone firewall without having the backup so what we are going to do we are going to add one more firewall which is going to be FortiGate 2 FortiGate this is going to be FortiGate 2 so this is going to be FortiGate 2 and this firewall is unconfigured let me show you this is unconfigured in FortiGate firewall 1 we have configured port 1 which is going to be WAN this is going to be our WAN WAN zone with this IP address 192.168.11.2 slash 28 and also we have configured port 2 in LAN zone network so port 2 is for LAN zone and port 3 is for DMZ zone in DMZ zone network we have some pieces over here that we are going to have some pieces behind the DMZ DMZ zone as we are going to add FortiGate firewall 2 for redundancy or high availability so we have some modes in FortiGate firewall for example standalone standalone and active and active active and active and also active and passive so what we are going to do active and active that means you know for basically active and active for load balancing because see for example from LAN zone if the traffic is going from LAN zone network so what we are going to do we are going to for example see from, from LAN zone switch we are going to add one more connection over here for the redundancy to FortiGate firewall 2 and we are using we are using port 2 for LAN so whatever the port we are going to use in FortiGate firewall 1 for LAN same port we have to use here as well in FortiGate firewall 2 so DMZ as you can see this is connected to FortiGate firewall 1 with port 3 and also this is going to be connected with FortiGate firewall 2 with port 3 as we are going to use 
port 3 as we have used port 3 in FortiGate Firewall 1 so same port should be here as well port 3 with unconfigured IP address so no need to configure anything IP address for security policies NAT policies so it's still unconfigured without having physical connectivity and as you can see here in FortiGate Firewall we have one more connection between FortiGate Firewall 1 and 2 this is our main connection for this is called heartbeat HB heartbeat link heartbeat link and they will be able to identify FortiGate 1 and FortiGate 2 because FortiGate 2 is unconfigured we haven't configured IP addresses IP addresses or any other policies still unconfigured so FortiGate firewall is unconfigured but you can think that how they will identify each other so with this heartbeat, heartbeat link this is going to be our heartbeat link so we are going to use port 4 port 4 here and then other side also port 4 so this is going to be our heartbeat link so they will identify each other with this MAC address there is one MAC address so they will identify with their MAC port, port 4 MAC address they will monitor each other by using their MAC address so I will show you in the configuration as we are having 240 gate firewall for the redundancy or high availability this is going to be our active and this is going to be passive let me show you this is going to be passive and this is going to be in 40 gate firewall is 40 gate firewall is going to be active Oops, so I forget to show you that there is one connection between ISP and 40 gate firewall 2 so this is also going to be port 1 port 1 with an still under configured without having only physical connectivity so I'm going to show you that you know this active and active what does it mean active and active active and active is basically used for traffic load balancing so you can think like this for example you are sending some HTTP traffic to FortiGate Firewall 1 so HTTP is going through FortiGate Firewall 1 to ISP and for some other traffic for example HTTPS, Telnet, SSH they will go through this FortiGate Firewall to and then ISP so some traffic will go through FortiGate Firewall 1 and some traffic will will go through FortiGate Firewall 2 so this is how you know traffic load balancing will happen but we are not gonna configure active and active so what we are gonna do for redundancy we are gonna use active and passive so FortiGate Firewall 1 for example this is gonna be active if we use any higher priority so for example priority priority is going to be 200 for example and here we are going to use priority priority we are going to use 100 the device who is having the higher priority he will be the active firewall and the device who is having the lower priority he is going to be the passive one so what passive what does it mean passive passive means you know he will he will keep an eyes on the active firewall if active firewall goes down then he is going to be the active one so he will come up with the active configuration so he's going to be active because this firewall active which is having higher priority is 200 with 40 gate firewall is down configuration part is coming in my next video so in this video I have given you the overview of high availability or redundancy 40 gate firewall in this design active and passive you know for high availability or redundancy the active firewall will send the configuration to firewall 2 this is going to be the replication configuration replication so the configuration will send to this firewall 2 so firewall 2 will be replicated firewall so whatever we have configured in 40 gate firewall 1 so all the configuration will send to this 40 gate firewall 2 which is called the replication configuration replication so we are going to have the same configuration in 40 gate firewall 2 for example the IP address which is going to be 11.2 slash 28 and for port 3 this is going to be port 3 so port 3 we are going to have oops 99.2 slash 28 I have mistake this is going to be 99 this is going to be 99.2 because 11 we are going to use for DMZ so this is going to be 99.2 slash 28 port 1 and port 3 we are going to use 11.3 so 
So you do not need to configure this firewall except high availability configuration. So you do not need to policies and then security policies, NAT policies, interface configuration. So all those things will come automatically from FortiGate Firewall 1. So this is going to be 24 and here is going to be 10.1 24. This is going to be DMZ and LAN. This interface port 2 is going to be LAN. And falling under LAN, interface port 3, this is going to be port 3. Port 3 is falling under DMZ. So port, port 1 is falling under WAN. So you do not need to configure anything else except high availability configuration in FortiGate Firewall 2. So once you configure the high availability in FortiGate Firewall, FortiGate Firewall and FortiGate Firewall 2. So you are going to have all the configuration from FortiGate Firewall 1 after configuring the high availability in between FortiGate Firewall. If you have any questions, any doubt, any queries, let me know and also leave your comments. I will try to respond to your questions as early as possible. I hope this video has been informative for you. If you like this video, do not forget to like, comment and share. Also subscribe and click on the bell icon for my new update. Because if you subscribe, this gives me more energy to make new videos for you. Thank you for watching.